Hey guys, this will be the definitive guide to all things voice meter. I will try and make it as concise and as informative as possible. And I hope you will be able to take your stream to the next level using this tutorial. First of all, what you'll need to do is to go to vb-audio.com. After you do that, you'll want to go to audio apps and then you'll want to go to banana. You can download voice meter. This tutorial will be applicable to voice meter as well, but for the more advanced stuff that I'm going to be talking about and especially to filter out sounds and sound sources, you don't want your stream to hear, you will be needing banana. So you'll just have to go down here, press install. Um, I like to get the exe file instead of the zip package since it's just way easier to install it instead of extracting it and putting it into a folder. During the installation of voice meter, it will ask you if you want to install an audio driver, make sure you accept that. If you don't, voice meter won't work. After you're done installing voice meter, it should have already change your default output device. Um, for this tutorial, make sure that it's voice meter input, not aux input. And it should have changed your input device as well. You don't have to change it to voice meter, but it's very, very much recommended. Um, make sure to change this one to aux output for this tutorial. First, let's go over the voice meter interface. It looks very confusing at the start, but it's actually pretty simple once you understand what everything is for. So first of all, we've got all our hardware inputs right here. This is for example, your, for your microphone, or if you have an actual hardware input, for example, a keyboard, not the one you type on, but the one you make music with, this is where you'll find those inputs. The first thing you'll want to do is left click on hardware input one and select your microphone. Rename the hardware input and I put the name of my microphone here, which is Blue Yeti. If you have any additional hardware inputs you'll want to use, like for example, a keyboard, which I mentioned before, you'll have to select it here at hardware input two or at hardware input three. You can rename those as well by right clicking them. This right here is a virtual input and it's basically the most important part about voice meter. This is what will enable us to decide what audio our stream can hear and which audio it can't hear. Over here we've got our hardware output. You'll want to set this to your headphones. Additionally, if you have any speakers, you'll want to set those as well. Last but not least, we've got our virtual output right here. We've got virtual output B1 and virtual output B2. This is what we will want to send to your stream. So basically, voice meter works by taking your hardware input as well as your virtual input and sending it to output of your choice. As you can see right here, I've got my microphone routed to the virtual output B2. This will be important later on. Over here, we've got our virtual input. Now listen carefully because this will be very important. On the left, we've got our normal voice meter input. Basically, this is everything you hear on your computer, like every sound, YouTube, Spotify, whatever. On the right, we've got our voice meter aux output. We will be using Windows 10's built-in audio routing to decide which programs will be routed to voice meter aux later on. Down here, you will decide to which output your digital input will be routed. Right now, I've got my left input, the one with all of my audio, routed to my headphones, which is A2, as you can see here. And I've got it routed to my speakers, which is A3. The right input is for the stream, as I already mentioned. This one I've got routed to my headphones as well. And I've got it routed to my speakers as well. 
If you're confused as to why I've got my speakers on both A1 and A3, it's basically because I'm using a sound card and my sound card supports ASIO, which will basically let my sound card do the encoding of my audio. This is really nice for listening to music over my speakers because my sound card has a great upmixing, which I really enjoy. Additionally, I've got it routed to the output B1 over here. And this is basically the output which OBS will be using. Last but not least, we've got this tape right here. You can either use it to record audio from your digital input, or you can select an audio file and choose to route it to an output of your choice. Right, I've got it routed right now to my speakers, my headphones, and B2, which is my mic. And this will be important for Discord later on. The last thing you'll want to do with voice meter is go to menu up here and tick this option right here, system tray run at startup. This will make sure that you won't have to change your audio output or audio input in Windows every time you start voice meter or every time you start your PC and voice meter is not started with it. Next, we've got our Discord settings. If you want your stream to be able to hear your Discord, you'll have to go to output devices and select voice meter aux input. If you don't want your stream to hear your Discord, you'll have to select voice meter input. Next, we'll go to input devices. Here we'll select voice meter aux output. Remember how I told you earlier that choosing B2 right here and sending it to aux output will be important for Discord? Basically, what this allows us to do is route our desktop audio to Discord as well. We simply have to go to all sound or stream, depending on what we wish to route, and press B2. This way, it will be routed via our digital output B2, which also routes our microphone, and will be output to Discord. So your mates can hear whatever you're listening to if you're trying to share a song you're listening to or something else. Additionally, you can also change how your microphone sounds. This is what this little box is for right here. As you can hear, my voice sounds a lot different now. So you can play around with this and decide what sounds best for you. If you do not need any of this fancy stuff, I do highly recommend it though, you can go to your input device and just simply change it to your microphone. This way you won't have any of the extra routing from voice meter and all your Discord will be able to hear is the raw input from your mic. Next we've got our OBS settings. I'm using Streamlabs OBS right here, but everything should be applicable to the normal OBS as well. I do highly recommend switching to Streamlabs OBS though, since it will remove a lot of clutter from your second screen and it will allow you to have a concise view of everything important in one window. So first of all, we should go to settings up here. Go to audio and disable every audio device. This may seem confusing at first. It allows us to have more control over our stream though. Basically, if we choose any input device right here, it will be added automatically to every scene we use. I personally enjoy having some scenes without audio, for example intermission scenes, so this is up to you. But for this tutorial it would be best if you disable all of these. Next you will want to create your own scene named audio. I cannot click it right now or else you won't be able to see what I'm doing since I'm recording with OBS. In this scene you'll want to go to the little plus right here, go to audio input capture and add source. You'll want to add two audio input captures, one for your microphone and one for the digital output from um, voice meter. Click add new source and select voice meter output. Do the same again for voice meter aux output. After that, you'll have two new sources here for your mic and for your desktop audio. Voice meter aux input will be your mic and it will be everything you send to B2. Voice meter input will be everything you send to B1 and will be 
basically everything you want your stream to hear from your desktop audio. After that you'll have to add your audio scene to every scene you wish to have your audio in. You'll leave it out of scenes where you don't wish to have your audio, for example intermission scenes. If you want, you can add a filter to your microphone output. I would personally not do this, except for noise suppression maybe, and would instead use a noise gate right here on voice meter. This will allow you to remove all noise gate settings in every app you use like Discord or OBS, and voice meter will take care of everything concerning noise gates. You will not want to change anything with a normal voice meter output. Do not add any filters here since this is your desktop audio and it should not be filtered unless you really wish to add some kind of filter. I do not recommend it however. That's your basic setup. What do we do about programs that do not have an output option though? Spotify for example does not have that option and I really really wish they would add it because it's a pain in the ass. Luckily for us, Windows 10 has added an option to route audio. Simply right click the little speaker icon right here and go to open sound settings. You'll recognize the settings window from before when we changed our output device to voice meter and our input device as well. Scroll down and click on app volume and device preferences. As you can see we've got a list right here of all currently open programs. Simply go to output and select voice meter aux input if you want your stream to be able to hear the output from the program. If you do not want them to be able to hear the output from the program, simply select voice meter input. Since I want my stream to be able to hear the output from Spotify, I select voice meter aux input. That's all there is to it basically. I hope I could help you understand this awesome little program a bit better and help you bring your stream to the next level. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like and sharing it with anyone who might benefit from it. I wish you a great day and wish you well.